Hi everyone. In today's video, I will guide you through creating an Azure Function app, deploying function, and securing them using OAuth 2.0 within Trity. Securing your API is crucial to protect data and ensure only authorized access. Whether you are a new to Azure Function or an experienced developer, this step-by-step -step guide will help you confidently set up and test secure Azure Functions. So let's get started. To create an Azure Function app, follow along with me. First, head over to portal.azure.com. Click on Function app. If required, in the search bar, type Function app and select it from the result. Click Create to begin the setup process. Select the plan. Choose your subscription and resource group to ensure correct billing is aligned. Enter a unique function name. Choose a runtime stack based on your application need. For this tutorial, I will select Node.js. Keep the latest version and select a region closest to your users for better performance. I will choose East US. Choose an operating system. I will keep window, but for cost saving, consider Linux if supported. Click Next. We will keep the default setting, but feel free to adjust them based on your need. In networking, we will keep default. Click Next. In the monitoring tab, I recommend keeping application insight enable. It's helpful for troubleshooting in future. Click Next. In the deployment tab, keep the default setting and click Next. On the tags page, we'll add a tag application ID with application name. Next. For the review. Before create, ensure to review all configuration, then create. Wait for deployment. Click Go Resource to open the function app. Now let's create a function inside our function app. Scroll down to function. Click create. Select HTTP trigger since We'll explore this function as an API, then click Next. Enter a function name. For now, keep the authentication level as anonymous. We will secure it shortly. Click Create. Function is created and it opens the code plus test screen with sample Node.js code. I will modify the response message to display the function name for clarity. Click Save. Click Test Run. In the test run window, click run to execute. Check the response in HTTP response content. Click close. Navigate to function app. I will create two more functions quickly so that I can use those functions to validate different scenario. Again, I will create HTTP trigger function with anonymous. We'll update function name in response message. Save the changes and we'll go back to the function app. Now let's create one more function with HTTP trigger with anonymous. Again, we'll update the function name in response message. Save the changes and we'll go back to the function app. Now that we have created three functions, let's move on securing them using OAuth 2.0. To secure the function, we'll configure authentication using IntraID. In the Azure Function app, go to Settings, Authentication, click Add Identity Provider, choose Microsoft as a provider for IntraID authentication. Keep App Registration Type with Create New App Registration. Rename the App Registration if required. Set Client Secret Expiration. To 180 days. Keep other setting as default. Set unauthenticated request to 401 unauthorized. Click Add. 
once identity provider is created click edit to review the setting ensure issue or url is correct with https colon slash slash sts dot windows dot net slash tenant id ensure allow token audience includes api colon slash slash client id this ensures token issued to your app are accepted now let's return to function app overview select your function click test run click run this function now return 401 unauthorized meaning authentication is required to call our secured app we need an auth token now we'll gather the required information for authentication open portal.azure.com in new tab go to app registration from all applications select your application copy application client id save them in notepad next copy tenant id save them in notepad go to certificate and secret create a new secret add the secret name and add be sure to store this value securely as it won't be shown again open postman and create a new request save the request navigate to application id and click on endpoint use the oauth 2.0 token endpoint v2 in token generation url in body enter grant type equal to client credentials client id equal to your client id client secret will be your client secret scope that will be your client id slash dot default click send to generate access token now let's test our secure function with token navigate to function app go to functions and click your function click on get function url copy the underscore master url for testing in the postman create a new get request paste the function url in header include content type with application json authorization with barrier navigate to auth request to copy token add token after barrier in body choose row enter name with postman value click send it got successful and return 200 ok response now temporarily disable authentication to simulate an unauthorized request if the token is missing or incorrect you should see a 401 unauthorized error we have successfully created an azure function secured it using auth 2.0 and tested it with postman if you found this tutorial helpful please like the video subscribe for more architecture related video and leave a comment below thank you for watching and see you in next video